Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everybody's well. It is eerily quiet in my house, and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Um, my son went to his dad's for the night, because I have to be to work very, very early in the morning, and I'm not going to be able to do my usual Monday routine and take a break and take him to school. So... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I got that worked out. So, as long as I got the house to myself and it's so eerily quiet, I'm going to knock out the last four reads for the month of February 2022. So, Scorpio, you guys are up next. We're just going to hop right into it. Those of you who've been hanging out for a minute know the routine. If it resonates, cool. If it don't, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It's all in the description box of this video. Go ahead and click. While you're at it, it's right next to the like button and the subscribe button. If you want to hit those too, that'd be super cool. All right, I'm going to tip down. Enough of that. Okay. Let's see if we can get a flyer. Is something to fly out for Scorpio? Oh, hi. Queen of Cups. Mm. Well... One more. It's feeling like one more. Are they all upside down? Nope. Okay. It's split at the page of cups. Hmm. Knight of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. First blush. Here we go. Either you're holding a cup for somebody or somebody's holding a cup for you. But, but this definitely feels like an exercise of self-love. There's something being withheld here. An offer or an apology or what have you. It's the Page of Pentacles. How you feel about them is the Ten of Swords reversed. What you think of them is this Ace of Swords reversed. That's telling me just with that that there's something that is not finished with them and you know it. So you're not starting anything. You're not moving forward. Because you know. Intended actions. King of Wands reverse. No forward movement. However, the outcome is the world. In the reverse. So there's definitely unfinished business here. But I just don't think it's going to be addressed right now. Nothing's moving forward. Let's see what comes in on their side. Can I get the energy of the person or situation that Scorpio is dealing with, please? Six of Swords, they're still in the process of moving on from something. I'll be darned. Being told to shuffle that one more time. Emperor. Ha! Huh. Okay. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. They feeling it. They feeling it. 
They're feeling it. <sighs> Emperor, they're moving on from something. They're regaining control of things. They're getting their bearings back about them. How they feel about you is the King of Cups. What they think of you is the Six of Wands reversed. So, here's what that tells me. You're not showing emotions. But you're already feeling like you're defeated. Their intended actions towards you is the Knight of Wands. Eventually, they will come forward. The Moon card... Eventually, this is going to come back around. It's just hard to say when. I'm liking this so far. Scorpio, you're finally giving me a reading that's short, sweet, quick, and to the point. I like it. Just throwing that out there. Oh. Five of Pentacles decided to fly out. This is going to take some time. There's a transition period going on here. Somebody is going to have a very hard time letting somebody in. You guys got to get more than a seven minute read. All right. All right. the six of wands for what the other person thinks of Scorpio. Why the six of wands reversed? Nine of cups reversed. Judgment reversed. They think you've already called game on this. You gonna give up that easy, Scorpio? I don't think you're gonna give up that easy. I don't. They think you're gonna give up that easy. Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? For how the other person feels about Scorpio. The Chariot. Queen of Wands of it. Poker Face, you're keeping your distance. Um, this has a little bit of a butthurt energy, not gonna lie. Why the Queen of Wands reversed? Possibly cons some conflicting mixed messages. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords reversed. It's like in and out. In and out, up and down. Not quite sure what's going on. Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. We're going to keep going. Uh, see the Knight of Wands. This almost feels like they're going to test the waters with it. But they're going to have a way out if they need one. Why the Knight of Wands? Why the Knight of Wands? Why the Knight of Wands for the intended actions that the person Scorpio is dealing with towards Scorpio? Why the Knight of Wands? Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, that's hesitation, that's holding back, that's a, uh, I'm going to have a back way out of this in case I got to ride out. Why the moon? Why the moon? Why the moon? Why the moon? Ace of Swords upright, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Why the Nine of Pentacles reversed? Five of Wands, Justice at the bottom of the deck. We're gonna, I'm not even going to address this. I already know what that's all about.
potential for a new start, but there's a lot of unknowns. Possibly someone's still dealing. Someone could still be married to somebody else, too, with this justice card. I mean, it is like legal matters and happy jazz like that. Like they're together, but they're not together. One of those situations, you know? The paperwork still needs to be done, if that makes any sense for anybody. I'm hearing the paperwork still needs to be done. Uh, give me one of this world card reversed. Just for kicks. The world card reversed. Two of cups reversed. Aich. Of swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm being told to leave it and get you a message. Short, sweet, and to the point tonight, guys. Somebody has to end something, and they're having a hard time ending something before they can move toward you. And I'm being told, I'm sensing, if you push this. Ten of Swords reverse, Ten of Swords upright. If you push too hard, you're going to push them away. There's going to be conflict. you got to ride out this period of unknown. I'm not taking that. The tribe came out. I'm not taking it. Treasure Island I'll take. Mm. That didn't just fall out. The tribe just kind of flew out in the shuffle. Number nine. The law of attraction. Bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking and made manifest. Abundance appearing as if out of nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Okay. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance, and suddenly, in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot, because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it. And share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. Do you understand what that ties in there? I understand what that ties in there. If you understand what that ties in there, leave a comment. All right, Scorpio. Short, sweet, quick, and to the point. Hang in there, baby. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. I send you off with peace, love, and light. I'm so sorry to be doing this so close to the end of February, but... You know, the universe just decided to send down a rain of life on me this month, and, well, you roll with what you got, right? Peace, love, and light. I will catch you when I catch you.